folks, JD here. And today we've got this little beast, the King Kong Tiny 8X. It is the newest in the King Kong family. It is a small 85 millimeter FPV racer with coreless motors. It has a quite large battery on the bottom of it. 550 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts. It does allow you to replace motors should you, should you blow them. It has got a small 850, it has got a small 1000 TVL camera on the front. And there she is. Nice. Comes in pink. This is my particular version which has the Fly Sky receiver. Now with this I have tested indoors, it seems to be okay. I'm gonna strap on the goggles, we're gonna take her up, we're gonna see exactly what she's like. So with that folks, let's get right on. Okay, so to begin with, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take her up on my transmitter, no goggles to begin with. And I'm just going to see what she's like just flying her around. So let's take that out. I wasn't happy with how quick I turned that round then. That was the slowest plug in and uh, turn back around onto his feet I think I've ever done. Right, so there we go. Lovely. Right then, let's turn on the ice -X. Come on. Oh, this thing is getting old. Come on. There we go, perfect. Right then, so we're all set up, we're all ready to go. I'm going to be using the QX65 profile because I found that profile to work better than the actual binding of this particular quadcopter on its own profile. So if you're wondering why QX65 is there, that is why. So with this folks, let's arm her, stand back and take her up. Right up we go, out we go. <sighs> this thing's a little screamer right away. <laughs> Right, 85 mil bigger than the QX65, obviously, by about 20 millimeter there. Feels quite nice, moves quite nicely as well. Oh, dips beautifully. Think I've got her in acro mode here. Uh, but yeah, look at her go. What a fast little thing this is. And of course, as it's a mini racer, you can really pull off those tight turns, those flips, those movements. <laughs> yes. Very good. Seems very stable as well. If you uh, just perform some really tight corners and bank her around, then she really does seem to, to work really quite well. She doesn't seem to have that awkward sort of flip that a lot of other quadcopters do or mini racers do, like the um, E010S we took out a little while ago because of the shark fin on the back of it. I found that when you do flip it round like that, it uh, can sometimes flip. Uh, and make a strange movement but oh this is nice right okay I don't want to waste this battery I do want to take her up on the goggles I do want to see what she's like on there so with that I'm going to bring her back down let's see exactly how well I can do with that that'll do and from there let's take her up with the goggles on now I'm hoping my new ones haven't arrived yet. I was hoping they would have. That's why I've been delaying this flight. Uh, is purely for my my new ones. So with this, folks, I'm going to switch from my head cam onto my goggles. So yeah, the goggles felt good. They relayed the uh, video very, very well. I had a lot of fun with using them. Oh, and that's the battery. <laughs> Just, I thought there was something not quite right with the flight, uh, right towards the end. Ah, oh, there it is. And um, 
I thought that I better take her off the goggles. I couldn't see the battery meter very well, but I could see the, the, the picture from the quad extremely well. Let me just try this one last time. Yeah, as soon as she takes off, she wants to land. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna push that any further. Right, great stuff. How was it? Well, I really, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. I thought it was absolutely really good, really good. Again, because this is the basic model I bought because all the others, once again, were sold out. I only had the one battery. If this was like my QX65 when I bought that and I bought the advanced version, I would be replacing this battery out time and time and time again to take this back up. I, do you know what? I loved it. I really, really loved it. I thought it was very, very good. Perfect picture on my goggles, which are obviously when you consider my goggles are um, quite basic in themselves. They're not expensive and they're not, um, they're not the you know, highest quality. They are just a basic pair of goggles with DVR built in. That's great. Control was brilliant. Binding, okay, I had a bit of a bit of a struggle with that, in so much that I had to use a second profile on my transmitter, just because the bind button is underneath here, right on the on the receiver board underneath there. And it was a little bit annoying. Every time I was pushing it and every time I was binding, it was saying bind failed, bind failed, bind failed. And then when it did say bind successful, then it didn't work. Uh, so that's why I'm using the second profile. But camera, great. Flight, great. Transmitter response, perfect. Once again, same as all the uh, FPV quadcopters that we've looked at, it's not been a problem, not been a problem at all. So there we are, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.